Hello, my name is David from the tech support team here at Alad Tech, and in this video we're going to be showing you an exciting new feature from our form section here, uh, what we call pay period time records. The ability to import their scheduled time or time clock records into a form so your members can sign off on those forms and review the information and add notes if they wish. And what we're going to do here from our test system here is emulate one of those end users at the moment, right? Now I'm going to use Seth as an example here. And when Seth logs in, say at the end of his pay period, and he would like to check his time card report or his scheduled time of what he's worked and review it and sign off on that, he could go up under forms such as this, and we've created a timesheet for him to submit. You'll see the middle section here for the pay period time records, and it's indicating the pay period that's set within the system for the current two week pay period. And you can also choose from the previous two week pay period or the one coming up uh, after this one. It defaults to the current pay period and you'll see it imported the records for Seth for all the dates and shifts that he worked, including his paid time off. And you'll see a scroll screen here where you can go over and add some more information for each record and Seth can go through and indicate which shifts he agrees with and which ones are correct and maybe one is incorrect and say, you know, held over for OT till, uh, you know, 4 p.m. So maybe there needs to be another hour added to that and so forth, and then he can go through and sign off, and then he verifies uh, the information and submit the information to be forwarded to the supervisor or admins. So let's look at this, and let's say we just want to do the previous pay period. It's going to ask us if we want to do that, and it will bring in the shifts from that pay period as well. The new section here is what we called a, a smart section, uh, similar to, let's say, a smart field where you're able to bring in the members from your database. So let's go back to being an admin and see how we put this together. We're in the form configurator here for the timesheet. This is the, an example of the design of the timesheet that we just looked at. And you'll notice here the smart layout over here called pay period time records. And that's the section that's listed right here. Now you'll see the default information that's information in automatically generated uh, based on the information in your system, one row per record. You'll notice the cog wheel right here that allows you to make some setting adjustments for what's being displayed in that section when it's being created. You'll notice that there you can come bring it in based on scheduled time and include or not include paid time off. Or you can include their time clock hours. If you use our time clock feature, you can bring in that information from their time clock records. And you may notice, similar to our time clock report, you can do some adjustments to those records based on what you need them to be displayed for rounding. You can do rounding up or down to the nearest whatever it needs to be, 5, 10, 15, or half hour mark for the clock in and out. And you can also include the times that go outside the pay period range. If they you know, work uh, past, uh, say, midnight and they work till six in the morning and you wanna make sure that that whole shift is included on the pay period, you can have that included here. And again, the paid time off option here. You'll see the added columns that were here, and you can add up to five more columns, each having their own designation of what type of field you might need there. You'll notice there's a verified field that's a select list field that you can edit here with the little pencil and with the options of correct or incorrect. You could certainly make it required or uh, choose what field type you would like it to be as well. Let's go ahead and add one. Let's say we need to put in a numbers field for that case where he was held over on that overtime of that shift and he needs one more hour added to that um, particular shift. So we're gonna add a new column and we're gonna call this hours worked if different. And we're gonna make that a number field. And now we have that ability to have a number field where they can add in exactly how many hours it would be. And that way when you export these submissions, it'll reflect as an actual number. 
Some services I know have the option of applying that overtime to say comp time. Maybe they don't want it being paid out as overtime right away. Maybe they wanted to get that information added to their comp time bucket. Well, you can add another column here and say hours to apply to comp. And that also could be a number field and have that available for the member to fill out as well. Make sure you save all your changes as you're going along. And when you go to submit that new timesheet form, you'll see those new options of the new columns here. Like we said, you can add up to five new columns of new information. Let's see how you bring it in on a brand new form. Let's go to design a brand new form. Let's say we need to make a timesheet for say our part-time members. You can you know, have this for part-time. And now you can bring in the smart layout field and just grab it with your mouse and bring it over. And then you can go forward and add those columns as needed. Maybe you just need a checkbox. You don't need them to say correct or not correct. You just need a checkbox. That's fine. They can just check this to make sure that it's verified. And then, of course, you would uh, check your uh, settings in here and bring in the information that you wish. And then the information above or below that section can be just as, it, as you need it, uh, who the person's name is, what, uh, who their supervisor is, what shift it's for, and down below you can add your admin only section to mark it as processed or not processed, add your signature box to a particular section uh, so they can sign off on it for your members as well as your supervisors. So there you have it, new ways to get information imported right into your forms for your members to review and submit for your own verification. And if you have any questions on setting up these forms or any of the options, please feel free to call us anytime or email us here at Aladtech. Thank you for listening.